as if my own opinion does not count. Well, I will not continue to do things your own way anymore. I am your husband, all right? I am the man of the house. So I tell you what to do anytime I want and you do it exactly the way I say it. Mm. Yes. Okay. The other day, you were supposed to pick Britney from school. But you gave an excuse. Fine. Why do you always leave things for me alone to do? After you will claim man of the house. You house. are close to the school. Yes, you were close to the school. So what will happen if you pick her? Will you die? Dad, mom, let's talk about this book, Peace of Mind. Mad oh. Abuchi, your mates always go for school runs. They don't leave it for their wife alone to do. But in your own case, you leave everything for me to do. After everything, you call yourself the man of the house. Oh. So, it has gotten to the point that you now call me names? Why won't I call you your names, Mother Abuchi? And Sammy, why won't I call you your name? Is that not your name? Eh? What? Is that your, not your name? No, I will call what, you your name. Selfie too. Give me 
You must survive this. You must survive this. I know you're a strong girl. You must survive this. That's a good one for my daughter. God, save my daughter from me. Save my daughter, oh God. Yes, boss. Boss, please, please. How is she? How is she doing? Mr. Man, calm down. Calm down. I'll be right now. Calm down?
of three, you cut the cake. One, two, Hey, my friend. So you're not done with this car? Hurry up, let me leave here. I'm late. Honey? 
Honey! Hurry, please! Hurry, 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 hurry! Let's go, we are late already. Ha! Huh. Traffic and all that. Where are you? Huh. Oh. My friend, you fast about this thing. Ah. Honey, where are you going to? I thought we were going with the car. I want to drive public transport. Public transport? Yes. I don't want to enter the car because I don't want to be your name. My wife? No, 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 no. no. Mara, what kind of lateness is this? Your class has been without any teacher, and your student parade around making a hell of noise. This is not acceptable. I'm sorry, Mrs. Okoye. My husband's car developed for this morning. I had to take a public transport. What is your time? It is an hour late before the court time. And I'm warning you for the last time. Don't let this repeat itself again. Okay, ma. Thank you very much. It won't repeat itself again. Please go to your class and resume your work. I heard about your daughter's death. It's a pity. Hmm? Mistake hands. <sighs> My brother. Everything happened so fast. So fast. I can't believe Britney is no more. I can't believe it. But how did it actually happen? I was approaching. Yeah, not so fast. I wasn't really speeding that much. But this car came and crossed me. I applied an automatic brake and that was it. Car. You need to be strong, hmm? you know, God gives and he, he will take what belongs to him at the right time. But Brittany is too young, that little girl is too young to die. And now my wife blames me every passing minute of the day that I'm responsible for my own daughter's death. Why will, why will Amara do such a thing? I've asked myself that question severally but I've not gotten answers to it.
Sister, the kind of bad dream I'm having these days is becoming so unbearable. What kind of dream is that? You said a bad dream? Yes. Each time I see my daughter dying in a strange way. And if I wake up, my husband will be sitting beside me awake. Hmm. Since Brittany died, my thought has not been at rest. My sister. Are you sure she died a natural death? Sister, her death is still strange to me. Because I suspect the sudden progress of your husband, Mother Abuchi. Hey! Are you sure he has not become an occultic man and have used your daughter to expand his riches? <sighs> Sister Guma, I think you're making sense. He was the actual person that caused the accident. Madabuchi. Madabuchi, you are thinking too much. Eh? You are thinking too much. Okay, I know it's because of your daughter's death. I know, but my wife is my problem. Nelson, my wife is my problem. That woman is giving me hell. She has changed. Totally. Everything about her has changed. And I'm not addressed with it at all. What exactly is she doing? She has become paranoid. Yes. She has become paranoid and it's making me feel guilty. It's making me feel like I am responsible for the death of my daughter. Why, why should it be so? No, 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 no. Amara, no, no, no. She, she shouldn't think of such. Look, I believe Brittany died a natural death. Yes. And remember, this world is not our home. Brittany has gone home. Nelson, let me tell you the truth. I'm going to be very sincere to you. I'm tired. Yes, I feel like dying. Hmm? I feel like committing suicide. Madapuchi. Yes. Why will you think of such a thing? Why will you think of such? Look, oh. why will you ever think of taking your own life? Huh? Okay, I have a secret. I have a secret I want to tell you. What secret? I have cancer. Oh yes. What? I have cancer and the doctor said I have only two years to live. Two years. And do you know what it means to live? Knowing fully well that very soon you're going to die. So you, you, you are actually going to, going to die after two years? And my doctor said I have only two years to live. Jesus Christ. Yes. And I have not thought of committing suicide. Look at him. I am here. Still happy. 
because I know that if I die eventually, I will go and meet my father in heaven. Oh yes, this world is not our home. You shouldn't think of such. All you need to do is move on with your life, focus and prepare yourself for a better place. Because after all this, we are going to leave this world to go and meet our Father in heaven. And there, you will still meet Brittany again. And you people will be happy ever after, praising the Lord. So, Cheryl. Cheryl. Hmm? He brought up an argument that fateful morning. Argument that is uncalled for. He wasn't concentrating on his driving, knowing fully well that we have a child at our back. All of a sudden, a car just came out from nowhere. And boom! Hi! He met an automatic break. Brittany sustained much injury. And that was the end of Brittany. You see? Hi! It's obvious he has joined one occult or another. Hey! Who knows who the next victim is going to be? Maybe it's you. God forbid. That is the reason you have to divorce him immediately. Ha! If you truly want to live long. Hey! This angel just died like that. Hey! I'm the one that is supposed to say sorry, my dear. I wasn't looking. Is this your book? Yes, Auntie. Where did you get it? I picked it up on the street the day an auto crash happened. Ask you for something. What is that, my chichi? Can you please lend me this book? After which I'll wait on it. Okay. Okay, ma. The book is all yours. Thank you very much. I'll be going for my classroom now. Okay, come on. Go.
I knew you were happy. That's why you go about drinking and buying drinks for others. So it's now a crime. Hmm? It's now a crime for me to drink and make myself happy after being in agony for a very long time. You should be in agony. Huh? In fact, you deserve it for sacrificing your only daughter, your only child, to your useless cause. Huh? Are you talking to me in that manner? Are you stupid? You are the one stupid and useless child killer. Huh? That I'm stupid and useless. Can a man be stupid in his house? <laughs> huh? I beg you, please. Don't touch me. Please don't do this to me. Okay? Don't do this to me. You can't leave me all alone in this house. You can't leave me all alone in this house, honey. Please. This is the work of the devil. Don't allow the devil to come between us, please. That will kill you, death. It's better you kill yourself and join Brittany than to stay alive to enjoy this ritual well. Please, please, please. You can't leave you. You're, you're all I've got now. Please, don't leave me. Please. Madam, here is your ring. Take it. I don't want to stay here and kill myself. I'm leaving you for stupid man. Let me leave you. I've been getting a lot of reports about you. And I've been watching you lately. You are always absent-minded. Especially in your classroom. I understand the fact that you just lost your only daughter. I'm a mother too. I know how painful it is. But you have to let it go and continue with your life. I know why I've decided to tell you this in a polite mood. Because next time I get such report about you, I will have no option than to give you query. And that may affect your job. And I'm sure you don't want to lose your job. I'm so sorry, Ma. It won't repeat itself again. I've moved on with my life. Really? Yes. I thank you very much for your concern. I really appreciate it. Thank okay. you. Okay. Go to your class. Thank you, Ma. Oh God, please, please let this call pass over me. I know that this world is not my home, but knowing that I'll die breaks my heart. Although I have tried to move on with my life and forget about everything, but I feel so much pain in my heart because I'm only a human. I'm only human. <laughs> Please, God. <laughs> if it's a wish, let it be done. But 
if you can still change your mind, I guess it, it, it's not too late. And it will not be a bad idea either. politics. Thank you very much for the food. It's very delicious. You are welcome, my sister. <laughs> All I want from you is for you to be happy. Forget about Mada Abuchi and his lifestyle. Hmm? You are young and I know you can find someone that will take care of you. Hmm? This is not the end of the world for you. Hmm? You are beautiful and adorable, and you need to be taken care of. Eh? Sister, thank you very much. But I think it's still too early for me to start seeing a man. Anyway, I'll think about it. It's OK. Let me, I will give you enough time to think about it. But it's not too late for you. Hmm? I'm inside. Okay. My beautiful sister. Just accept, let me get one rich, influential man for you to take care of you. Hi.
Where are you? <laughs> Come catch me! Okay, I can't catch you then. Let's, let's see how it goes. Madabuchi, my son. Did you say that uh, your wife left your house and did not even tell me your uncle? Hmm. Is she good? Has chewed the wrong leaf. For a few weeks now, is staying all alone in the house. All alone. And it's, it's not funny. It's not. What she did is totally wrong. Anyways, 
I'm not surprised because the girls in that village are always like that. They don't stay long in their husband's house. Ugoma, her elder sister, is a typical example of what I'm talking about. Uncle, I came all the way to this village for you to tell me what to do. To, to, to know what is the next step to take. I want to know. There are no long salmon in evening mass. You're welcome. Thank you. As no gono guy, quadro no come with her. If she has decided to go, let her go. But if she eventually wants to come back, don't let her back go. Hmm. My advice is that you go and marry another wife. Yes, a full grown man like you should not stay all alone in the house. Go for another wife. Well, um, Uncle, I'm, I'm suggesting, I'm suggesting that for now, I, I would want Emeka to come with me to the city. At least it would be a good company for now. Emeka is the only one that is helping me out in the farm. If you take him to the city, I'll be helpless. Okay. Um, Court of Chisum, she can come with me. Um, um, she will even finish her education there. Hmm. You know, since their mother died, Emeka and Chisum have been the only source of joy and happiness to me. It's all right. If you say so, no problems. Hmm. Okay. Eat your food. Thank you. Let me bring drink for you. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you. Very good friend of mine. He's rich and influential. I know he will take very good care of you. Amara, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure is mine. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. I guess I will leave both of you to talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? yeah. Amara, I'm there. Amara, please come come to Wow. You are so beautiful, adorable. I think whatever your sister told me about me is real. Even it's more than what I thought. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. I think your sister told you my intention towards you. What intention? What? I love you so much. I'd like to marry you. Um, sorry if I may ask. Are you married? Well, I'm married, but my wife is late. I have two grown up sons. But I still need someone that will make me happy and love me. Hmm. Um, Chief Frank, sorry, I don't think you are with the right person. Because I'm a married woman, though I'm having problems in my marriage. But I don't think I want to remarry as a second wife. Mm -hmm. I'm happy the way I am. Well, Amara, have money. Have all it takes for you to be happy. I have everything to change your life. I'm going to make you a good day. Chef Frank. Excuse go. me. Ah, Amara. I have money. Eji me go nenko. Ay! Chief. Mwa. Onyego. Oh, God, man.
Mara, I was watching you from there. What is your problem? Eh? The man is nice and gentle. Above all, he is rich and influential. A man I know that can take very good care of you. Sister Goma, I'm sorry. But I'm not just comfortable with that man. My heart beats heavily when he was talking to me. My conscience couldn't allow me to stay any longer, so I had to leave. Hmm, Amara, this is the problem I'm having with you. You really need to make up your mind and accept you, Frank. Eh? He's the best thing that can ever happen to you as your life stands now. Sister, please, still give me some time to get over my past. The wound is still fresh in my memory. Did you just say time? You said time. Time they say wait for nobody. Amara, make up your mind. I mean, make up your mind now. Can you remember what you see? Welcome to my humble abode. That is very beautiful. I am waiting, sir. Will you get out of here? Monkey! Mm. Ah, this is my humble abode. This is my small apartment. <laughs> so you're welcome. This is now your house. You can come here. Anytime you can do it. Alright? How do I love it? And I love it too.
Baby, are you in the bathroom? Baby, I... Life. I've been looking everywhere for you. I have a good thing with you, mommy. Okay, my angel. Come now, we need to go. No, mommy. Mommy, why do you leave daddy? Why do you leave home? Your father was becoming frustrating. So I had no choice then to leave. Can I ask you for one thing? Anything for you, my angel. I want you to go back to daddy. I want you to reconcile with him. He's not the cause of my death. And don't ever blame him again. I died a natural death. Okay, my sweetheart. I will do as you said. And I also want you to meet the pastor for counseling and prayer. God has something to do with our family. I'm also a member that I love you, mommy. I love you so much, my angel.
Why will I be happy when I don't have peace of mind? Why? How can I share up where I don't have peace of mind? Yeah, Chima. Peace, peace of mind. Peace, peace, peace of mine. Peace, peace, peace of mine. All I need. Peace, peace, peace of mine. All I need. Honey? Honey? Oh my God. Come here. I missed you. There's something I want to tell you. Brittany visited me on the train and she said I should come back to you. She said you're not the cause of her death, that she died a natural death. She also said we should go and visit our pastor for counseling and prayer, that God has something in stock for us. So fair. Bury it in your brother's house. Your brother, Papa Marabuchi, will die. And you shall take over his properties. Ha 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 ha
Um, I want to use this opportunity to thank each and every one of us that um, in one way or the other saw to the success of my father's burial. I want to say thank you very much. And um, Uncle Ejiofo, I will not fail to appreciate you in a very special way for all your contributions and your efforts. You've been there, your advice and everything, your suggestions. God bless you. Mm. Um, you are the father I know now. It's okay, my son. Um, you just have to be the man you have become. Hmm? No, thank you very much. Um, first thing tomorrow morning, I will be traveling to the city with my family. Okay. But um, don't worry. I'll be visiting home from time to time. So you won't have to miss us so much. <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes. Um, you know, as the only son of your father, you need to be coming home now more often. Hmm? So that I will show you some places where we have plots of land, which belongs to your father. Mande de neba. Eh? Mande de no no. Thank you very much. As the only son, you need to be close to home now. Oh, okay, thank you very much. All right, um, we'll be going home now to prepare for tomorrow. Yes. Oh, yes, for tomorrow. All right, so you have right. to take care, right? Okay, let me see you off. Okay. Come here. Where is your sister Chisom? Chisom? Chisom inside the kitchen preparing some food. Chisom! Chisom! Papa! Come here. Papa, any problem? Reason with me. Where is that money that the mother would give good of you? I have mine. Bring it. It's today that I know that both of you are poor. You don't have sense at all. Don't you know that Mother Abuchi is a ritualist? Yes! He is. Don't you know that this money is what he uses to collect your destiny? Papa, stop this. Shut up! Next time, if he gives you money, Tell him no. Don't collect money from him again. But Papa, um, 
But I'm not that butchie does not look like a ritualist. Shut up your dirty mouth. But you go and say, or I'll shut it for you. What do you know about money and ritual? Listen to me. I am your father. If you want to live long, abstain from Mother Abuchi. Don't do anything with him. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? Yes, Papa, yes. We continue with what you are. Jesus, Papa is so mean. So heartless. Can you engineer a girl? What else do you want me to do? What else? Now that my brother is dead, I want you to cause his son's marriage to scatter. Cause them with quarrel and misunderstanding. Make his life miserable. From there, he will meet his untimely death. Hmm. How do you know, sir? How do you know, sir? If you want to marry, you may want to marry the more girl. It's your card. Mmm! Mmm! Adi! Adi! Oh, you know what you like? I'm a boobie. Oh, you know what you like? I'm a boobie. 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 Oh, you know what you like? I'm a boobie. Marabuchi, I command your marriage to scatter. I command you to hate your wife. Destruction fall upon your household from now on. <laughs> It is done. Otam go don go. Ota pia pia. I trust you. Omo anu kono kule John. Trust you. Omo wata nuko dosa ngo mili. Uye no shala yuzi. In mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Brother Madamuchi, while I was praying, the Lord revealed something to me. I had a very strong revelation about you.
would like to go to the city with you. Don't mind what Papa was saying. Life in this village is very hard. I can't continue to stay in this village. Hmm. Mother Abuchi, my son. Drink. I'm merry. Huh? The wickedness of man becomes our wickedness because it kindles something evil in our hearts. The object an evil man pursues has failed to satisfy the cravings of an immortal spirit. Madabuchi, Madabuchi, Madabuchi! Today, you breed no more. Oh, ya corner, me. Oh, ya corner, me. Oh, ya corner, me. Ha, 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 ha. Udene karaka na mapu ozu Ha! Guara to a for Buluzo. Ha 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 Jesus! Hey! 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 Your daughter saved you from that accident. If not for her, the two of you would have been dead. Even though she's dead, her death shouldn't be seen as a mistake or premature. Because even when Christ lived on earth, he died at death three. But his death was not premature in any way. 
So we should live the life of Christ. We should exude Christ in all we do. We shouldn't fear. The Bible said we should not fear. He has not given us the spirit of fear. Instead, he has given us the spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. So my brethren, we need to pray. It's not a time for us to fear. Let's pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father Lord, I commit this once into your hands. I need to be high because there is none like thee. Be anything committed into your hands, we are well able to keep it. Thank you because you are called for has also paralyzed some part of his body. I think he needs good medical treatment right now. Hmm? If we don't do that, you stand the chance of losing him. No, Papa will not die. Doctor, please help us. Doctor, please. If there is any other solution, please tell us. Will he get normal again, please? Sure. He will recover. Only if things are being paced up. Eh? All he needs now is admit just to put him on admission. And for treatment to commence, you have to make deposit of 200000 200,000 naira is too much. Where do you expect us to get that kind of money? Please, 
do something. Uh, help us, please. Yes, doctor, please do something. Please, we cannot afford to lose him. We don't have any means of getting the money. Please, doctor, help us. Please, please. I don't know. Doctor, please. Listen, I understand how you feel. I understand the situation. I will also want you to understand that this hospital is not my own. And my salary cannot assist you. It cannot foot this bill. Go sit down. We are finished. Please. Okay. Please, can you leave? I have other patients. Hey, doctor. Doctor, no, because yes. thinking how to raise money to take papa to the hospital because if we continue to leave him here papa will definitely die god forbid he will not die um, let us call brother mother abuchi and see if he will send money for us to take him to the hospital Jason, huh? are you okay Jason, remember that papa warned us not to call brother mother abuchi for anything eh Jason, if Papa hears that we did such a thing, he might die of heart attack in this condition. So, what do you suggest we do? Give kiss Kwan Kaime. Papa must not die, you. God forbid. Fear Kwa. That reminds me. Do you know uh, Mazio Dobu? Mm, one boy's father that is very rich. Yes, I remember him. The one that came for Kudoka's burial with the goods. Exactly. I knew him to be a very good friend of Papa. And he just returned from America. Eh? Let's meet him. Tell him about Papa's condition. I believe he will help us. Mm. He will do something. Okay, I'm gonna, let's go. Let's go. <coughs> Obodo. Please, my father's condition is very critical. As in, he's down. Uh, the doctor demanded 200,000 naira before they commence treatment on him. My sister and I have gone to Mazio Dobu's house, but he refused to give us money. Little, and even single something, he refused to give us. Now, you are the last hope I have. Please, help me. Any amount can go a long way. Please help me. Uh, Emeka, uh, I've heard what you said. Uh, indeed, the truth is that you're a very good friend of mine. Uh, but the situation of the country now, eh, things are very hard. Things are very, very hard. And uh, for someone to give you that kind of money, uh, you have to bring a collateral. You have to bring collateral. Because uh, things are very hard. Money doesn't go on tree. Yeah? You have to bring a collateral, even if it's that your father's land. Obla and Anna guy will tell you, I'm Malo Kesi, I'm here. If it's that your father's land, you bring it, then I can see how I can give you money. Yeah? This is money. But Obodo, we are good friends. You know I can't do that. I don't have any... Uh, Emeka, now I can go again. I spend almost 24 hours on the road. Yeah? I go to the north almost twice in a week. I know how many hours I spend on the road. You don't expect me when I come back, I carry the more money and give you. No, it doesn't work that way. Obodo, remember this is a matter of life and death. Please help me. See, let me tell you that we are friends is not when it comes to money. Abulo no kwego. Na mo na gibo ya abulo no kwego. Ega adere puno sisi wokem. Ega adere money is not mana. It doesn't fall from heaven. Eh? I know how hard I work to earn. Bring the papers of the land. Then I will, I can give you money. This is money. Yeah? You don't expect me to just give you money like that. No, it doesn't work that way. No. Obodo, this is me. 
and make I'm a... not with this you. If this is a matter of life and death, you deal with it, what happened? Make the land papers. It can serve as collateral. And a very good one as much. Eh? If Abraham Mbashu go out with some dear colleague, go again. Only doesn't fall from heaven. Things are hard. Eh? And like Amy. Honey, honey, I think we need to visit your uncle. Remember, as a Christian, we are supposed to love our enemies. Sweetheart, I won't do that. I won't. I won't step my foot in that village again. Not after all they did to me and my family. No! Baby, to err is human. And to forgive is divine. We need to visit him, influence his life, convert him for Christ. He can't live a fetish life for the rest of his life. Remember, whenever a sinner repents and turns away from his evil ways, there is great joy in heaven. Never you pay evil with evil. Rather, repay with love and kindness. Hmm? Promise me to visit your uncle. Let's go. He's not promised me. Just go into the cabinet. What happened to uncle? And why is he in this state? Brother, Papa has stroke. And according to the doctor, he said some part of his body has been paralyzed. Jesus. Jesus paralyzed? Paralyzed? God. When did this happen? Seven days ago, brother. Seven days! Honey, did you hear her? Seven days ago! And none of you, grown-ups like you, could pick up your phone and call me? Brother, the doctor said we have to deposit 200,000 naira before they can commence treatment on him. And we've not told anybody because the money was too much. Is it, can you imagine? 200,000. Can you imagine? Because you feel the money is too much. That is why, oh, fine! Since you think I can't do anything about it, fine! I'm out of here, let me... Calm down, eh? You need to be a good Christian. When you look on the cross, you have reason to do so. Hmm? Calm down. Brother, please, we have offended you enough. But please forgive us. Take our father to the hospital, please. I'm yeah, sorry, brother. Huh. The illness is actually severe. But well, the treatment will be given to him. I am sure he will be convalescent sooner than you can imagine. Doctor, please. I want you to do everything possible for him to recover. Yes. Money won't be the problem. At all, at all. Money is not a problem. Please, do your best, Biko. No problem. There's no problem. Hmm? We are here for you. As long as you're there, we're here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
forgiving you. Yeah? If not, I won't be here. Yeah? I forgive you. Okay, it's okay. We are forgiving you. And today, Jesus Christ has come to set you free. That is if you believe. Uh, Auntie, brother, thank you very much for forgiving my father. I thank you so much. Since the burial is over, my wife and I have been thinking. We've been putting heads together to know what to do with the both of you. And after much deliberation, we've come to the conclusion that we will take both of you to the city. Mm. Yes. Um, we take you to the city. Chisum, you have to go back to school and finish your education while we start up business for America. Hey, hey, brother, thank you so much. This is so nice of you. Sister Amara, thank you too. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> um, brother, thank you very much. God will bless you for me. <laughs> and sister, God bless you. You're welcome. <laughs> but that is on one condition. And the condition is both of you would have to be calm, gentle, God-fearing, stay out of trouble, obedient, but most importantly, you have to give your lives to Christ. Brother, if what you just said now is the condition, I promise you there is no problem at all. Brother, what will I gain if I don't serve a living God? What will I gain? Oh yeah, brother, just that. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for anything. Oh. <laughs> so we have a deal here. Yes, brother. All right, so just fix yourself. You're coming with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's, Let's see. Let's see you all. City, here we come. Just city. Nem, nem city. Hey, nem, nem, nem change. Because you don't go for it. Hey, I want to see city. Hey, hey. Finally, I made it to city. See me, see city. Hey.
Oh God, I have accomplished my mission. Take me now. Yes, doctor, please. How is my wife? In that question, Mr. Mada, your wife just put to bed. She's a baby boy and a dog. No! The baby is my wife and son. Are you serious, doctor? Oh! Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. You are ever faithful. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Peace of mind. 